Hi everyone, my name is Tim Rhea, host of the Informed Health event here at UCSF. Uh, super excited to have Thomas Getz, uh, who's a co-founder of Iodine. How are you doing? Very well, thanks. So, um, just amazing, my mind's been blown for the amount of just brains out of here and the creativity that's here. What until, is, until is, I came along. Until you came along, yeah. but we're, you, you know everybody, everybody's super excited. I know you're mobbed over here. There's like 15 people trying to get a hold of you. Um, but what's your, what is your background? Uh, well, so my background is I was a journalist, a uh, longtime editor at Wired yeah, Magazine. Wired, yeah. uh, and then I uh, have an MPH from Berkeley, um, a wonderful school of public health there, yeah. and basically decided to, to stop uh, observing health and innovation and start getting into it. So that's what well, we're That's cool. So, yeah. yeah, so, well, I was lucky. I, I have a great co-founder at Iodine, uh, Matt Mohebi, yeah. and we're building better tools for people to make um, good decisions yeah. about their health care. Yeah, I remember reading you in a Wired back in the day. Yeah. I haven't seen Kevin Kelly in a while either. Is he still around? Yeah, he is. He, Kevin is awesome. Yeah, he's one of my one of my mentors. Oh, cool. So, um, the panel. What was the subject of the panel today? So it was really looking at, um, I think, the pragmatically, what can we make with data in terms of helping people make better decisions. I think um, uh, Alvin was interested in in the kind of clinical decision making yeah. capacity. Um, not in practice yet, but but actually the opportunity to to start tapping the the um, existing EHR data. I'm actually what we're doing at Iodine is really trying to measure um, patient experience or consumer experience. Yeah, we were going into that. Yeah. Yeah. So the 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 power of aggregating people's subjective experience uh, in mass quantities, right, at scale. So thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of millions of people reporting granularly, you know, how were they satisfied, whether, what side effects did they experience, um, whether they thought the medication was worth it or not, whether they tried other therapies, surgery, lifestyles, uh, physical therapy, whatever it may be. The idea is that in that data, uh, because we understand, if we understand demographically uh, who that person is, um, what they've experienced before, we can start to come out with patterns and help people make better decisions based on what people like them have yeah. succeeded taking or, or moving from one treatment to another. So that's, that's really the tools that we're developing. Interesting. So it's, it's, a little, it's, it's, it's really fuzzy, but you're able to extract... It's very fuzzy data, but the idea is, think of, think of like the way Yelp is able to synthesize you know, people going out to dinner into meaningful information, so the next time you make a reservation, you're going to actually have a better success getting to a restaurant that you actually like. Um, or the way Amazon aggregates people's uh, you know, taste and reading and books or, or whatever, so you can get the book that you're actually going to like. Or Netflix doing the same thing with, with video. We're just trying to do the same thing with healthcare. Uh, we, we see healthcare as a consumer experience that yeah, doesn't exactly. recognize people's capacity to act as consumers. So we're starting that process. Yeah, it's interesting. It's been the, the people who run healthcare, like the, C, the, the, the CFOs. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Well, so there's a reason the consumer hasn't been served in healthcare it's because they don't pay the bills, right? So the yeah. insurance company or the hospitals, they're the ones who kind of are driving the costs and the, the, people are called patients, right? They're not seen as, yeah, they're not seen as customers. And so we're trying to recognize that they have that capacity to, you know, move the needle on uh, healthcare priorities and healthcare resources just as much as hospitals or practitioners. Yeah, I mean, I had a pretty interesting situation. It's like, oh, I go to the doctor and, and I just felt like I should get more information, especially, well, maybe my perception is a little different than the average person. I, just, I get to see a lot, yeah. but I kind of like... It seemed like the interaction could have been better, and that would have probably put me in a different mindset. So I had to go get a second opinion and waste a bunch of time. Yeah. Well, so, so that's a great... I mean, I think there's... there's um, what the experience you describe or the experience people have when they enter the doctor's office and they have to fill out that sheet of, you know, what diseases they've had or what, what their preference, if they've had any rashes on medications. And you have to do that again and again and again at the same time. So in other words, you're starting from scratch every yeah. time. Uh, it's 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 a it's a very bad way of knowing who is walking in the door. So what we're trying to do is to create something that that really maps that experience, maps what's happening to people, and then uses that to optimize what information we're presenting to people, so that you know they're able to drive to a successful decision, a successful treatment earlier than they would otherwise. Sounds like a fun place to work. Are you guys hiring anybody? 
Uh, we are. We we need mobile developers like everyone. If, if yeah. they, but but the thing is, you know, we we need front end developers and mobile developers. Um, but you know, we have a mission, and we have we're able to kind of let people put their skills to to actually doing something good for consumers. And the goal is to become the the predominant consumer brand in healthcare. Cool, small goal. Yeah, you heard you heard about iodine here first. So is this uh, announcing it here? No, well, I have. I have. <laughs> we launched, you know, we launched in September, so it's yeah. it's early days. It's, it's early days. Yeah, you guys are still early stage company. Yeah, and where are you based? Uh, four blocks from here on Third and Bryan in in, uh, in San Francisco. So where's the uh, after party dinner for the event? Because this is your hood. Where are we going to go? Oh, uh, you should go to um, you should go to uh, uh, what is it called? Um, Yield. There's a wine bar right up down on Third Street. My Perfect. That's, uh, that's my style. It's not a. It's not a. Oh, it's not right. a club, but you know. No, the wine bar is good. I worked at Seattle Wine Awards, so we go oh, through. There you go. It's, it's, it, you'll like it. So uh, the last question is: um, is what do you find personally interesting right now? I mean, you see a lot of different stuff living here. What's hot? Uh, well, everything's hot. I mean, San Francisco technology these days, it's 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 blowing up. Um, yeah, it is. And I was here in '99. Yeah, me too. It was like. 10, 15 Folsom just down here. We had a little tiny office. What was that? What were we doing there? Travel key. Really? Oh, that's cool. Well, yeah. So, I mean, I think a lot of, a lot of what we're able to do now, you know, it's, in some ways, what we're doing is not different from the way WebMD was trying to do it then, right, 15 years ago. Um, the difference is that, that we're able to, I think a lot of what it's promising is people who are taking a data approach rather than a content approach to what they're creating. Yeah. So even something like BuzzFeed, which is a content company, is taking a data approach. So, so that's what we're doing for healthcare. That's what, that's what the, I think the best companies are approaching whatever they do um, as you know, text is data and, and it, is a, it is a different way of, of surfacing what is important for people. Yeah, that's cool. And your content background allows you to kind of have... Yeah, yeah, but I, I, you know, they, they, don't, they don't let me... The only I can write on the blog, but but in the rest of the website, it's like they, they take sentences away from me. It's very funny. So uh, how do people link in with you guys? Connect up, shoot a resume over to you guys. Yeah, so we're at iodine.com, uh, and you can find me personally at tgets on Twitter, uh, and we'd love to hear from you. We'd love to hear from people who are who are interested in what we're doing and uh, want to join the effort. Awesome. Hey everyone, that's uh, Thomas Getz with Iodine. Thanks for being on the show, and uh, good to catch up. Yeah, pleasure.